So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Hey everybody, it's Dan. So um, in this video, I want to talk to you about wealth and education and all of that good stuff because I was reading an article that was talking about some of the latest research that's come out um, from a woman who analysed uh, about 600 millionaires in the USA and this is a follow-up research paper to the book The Millionaire Next Door and this is called something like More Millionaires Next Door or something like that and they were just looking at what the um, amount of time was spent uh, investigating researching, educating themselves about investments and I just thought it was a really important piece of information and the golden number uh, of, (laughs) I shouldn't use a golden number because golden number has a different reference to nature doesn't it, Um, but the, the number of hours spent each and every month for the average millionaire bear in mind the 600 millionaires but the average number of hours was 10 and a half hours every single month spent researching um, investments and that kind of thing and you know what a lot of them had um, like index funds like the Vanguard S&P uh, Bogle just passed away the guy that invented that the guy that ran um, Vanguard um, so I can't remember his first name so Ten and a half hours, and I just think it's really important because, like, how many hours a week? That's what two, two and a half a week. How many hours a week are you actually spending yourself educating yourself about investing? Like, do you know what a bit is? Do you know what uh, return on investment on a property should be? Do you know what a yield is? <clears throat> do you know, like, do you know what section twenty four is? Do you know what a uh, 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 Section 8 is and under which grounds you need to be evicting. Like, I, I know landlords, but they don't even know any of this information. They don't even know what Section 8 is or Section 21. They have no idea about what the rules and regulations are. And, and it's really basic stuff as well, because all you've got to do is buy a book and read it, jump online, find it out. And I get sometimes you don't know what you don't know, so you don't know to go and find that information out. But you should have read a book on that by now. You know, like, how do you get a 10% return? Uh, on average over the last 10 years how do you, where would your money go for that these are the types of questions that you should be asking yourself but you only know to ask those type of questions when you actually start reading and start learning from uh, other materials because you don't know the type of questions you need to ask until you learn the information and so a lot of this is about becoming financially literate and there's so many financially illiterate people out there it cracks me up, that's why my voice broke, cracks me up every time. For so many financially illiterate people out there haven't got a clue. They spend more time watching Game of Thrones, which I get, you know, and however many seasons, however many hours. I mean, we're, we're, we're watching Suits right now, with like eight or nine seasons of Suits. It's like 20 episodes per season, that's an awful lot of TV we're watching. But we're already pre-educated. And we're already educating ourselves in and around that as well. But most people will sit and watch Game of Thrones and Suits and everything else. And they've got no financial education whatsoever. So how many hours are you spending each and every month investigating, uh, working out what's what and where your money should be going? I think it's really important that you find that out and have a good think about that. So I hope that's useful for you. We'll catch up with you in the next video. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.